Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolution.com with my business partner Tricon Technology Group. Today I am going to show you an interesting MDX tip. How to display member name as major in ASO queue. So let's get started. I want to display member name as major. So you start by, I'll be using a sample ASO queue which ship along with your uh, as space sample application you start by changing a property called type property as enable this property so you can display text as a member name this property is irreversible so you can set only once it has true and false value i already set to true therefore i cannot reverse it next i'm going to add couple of dummy members under measure and i display these Major as a value of my dimension member. So I create first dummy member name as product name. This product name major would display the product name from product dimension. So you associate an MDX script with this. Right click, go to edit property, and there's an option called associate member string. And I would expand this text type it comfortably so in order to write member name there are multiple mds functions we have these are mds function that return a string uh, and these are the mds function which i can use as member name right and i need to use a member name called current member so i can use this function dimension name dot current member this is an expression i apply exactly same expression over here dimension name is products dot member name because I need to use current member so I use current member dot member name however in order to apply any MDX expression I need to use MDX format string MDX format over here so you can pass under MDS format any MDS expression. So to in order to use it, I'll enclose in close this under MDX format. So here's your expression. Verify for syntax. This is fine and OK. However, even if I created a member, it will not work. I show you why. First, I log into my ASO and show you how it works. Uh, we create a dummy or ad hoc analysis. And I display major name as product name. And you still see it has a value called hash missing. The reason I need to give a dummy value to the some dummy value to the formula of product name right click edit member properties and give some dummy value i give zero you can give any value one two ten hundred anything and now you test it it works refresh so now you see major name as all merchandise and as you drill down to product you see my major name is displaying same as dimension member name which is product in this case in addition to this simple example, you can also use multiple functions. You can apply all this string function. So for example, I'm going to use a substring function along with this. You should know the syntax of substring function. Substring function takes three arguments, string name, index one, and index value two. So I pass this as an argument over here. Create one more dummy member under major called product substring sub str and again i associate mds expression with this so associate string format expand this to mdx format name of your dimension products dot current member dot member name 
but I need to use a substring. Therefore, I apply a substring function on top of this. So before I pass this, I use substring, which take three argument, a string. I like to display starting from index number three or two and index number two as three. So it will take character second and third. Verify. So it seems my parentheses are not balanced. Let's check this. So balance my parentheses correctly. It should close over here. Verify. No error. OK. That's it and save and test it. I refresh my smart list by adding drill up and drill down and focusing on these two member products and product name and substring. Oh, I should have used format again. Under product substring, I should continue to use formula as zero dummy value you can give any dummy value so let me focus this to and once again I go back and right click go to formula and give some dummy value or any value you can give and save it refresh you find product name and substring of the product. Similarly, you can use these two or option. You can use left and length option as well. Any string function you can use. For example, we use one more function called length of the dimension member name. So add another dummy member called product length. And if I associate a string, I just copy paste, validate, no syntax error. And similarly, you can also use more string function. I use last string function as left. So it will extract five character from left. Add another dummy member called product left. Make sure you give some dummy value to, to formula. And product left also, I associate format string. Left character, five left characters. Verify, no error. That's it, save and test it. So I drill up and drill down and once again focus on these members. Product substring, product name, product length and product left. So this is product name as dimension, product substring, two characters from second and third, length and substring, uh, left, length and left, first five character from left. In a similar fashion, you can use any substring function. So that's it for today. Should you have any question, Please feel free to write to us. This is our website and contact number. Thank you.